Hello and welcome back to this fourth part of the tugboat building vlog. Uh, the last episode ended with the installation of the back panel and the roof of uh, the cabin. And this is where we're going to continue today. We're going to close that hatch here, install the door panels. And of course, we are going to close this front section here. So let's get started. We are now ready to install the two uh, door panels as well as the trimming that goes around. Let's do this! So before we uh, close the front area here, I'm gonna um, build and install the box where the driver's seat is um, placed on. So it's uh, nothing too fancy here. It's a simple, simple box. We're gonna assemble and then glue in. <laughs> reached a step in the build I was very nervous about and that for good reason um, because this is the front panel and you see it needs to be bent quite heavily um, I intend to do that over steam again um, and I was preparing everything in order to do that and disaster struck um, not sure whether you can see it but when I try to cut it uh, free from the sheet this top part here broke not only in one spot, but like it shattered all the way. So what I've been doing here is trying to put it back together using super glue. I have no hopes at all that this will um, survive the, the steam treatment and bending, but at least I can take the shape from here and copy it onto some spare, um, spare parts. Uh, so this is maybe also important. Don't throw things like these away. Uh, they can always come in handy when you need to uh, repair something or add additional details. As previously mentioned, I'm gonna use steam to uh, bend this uh, front panel. I'm gonna use that bottle of oil here uh, because it's got roughly the same shape. I will uh, bend the piece over it and I will repeat the procedure until I have uh, the, the, the necessary shape and I can glue the, the piece in with no uh, tension. This went far better than I expected. I was able to pre-bend uh, the part. It's not glued in yet. I wait till the wood is dry to use the, the wood glue, um, but I fixed it so it dries in the shape we need. Time to glue this in place.
are the moments you wish you had more hands. Um, but I think I've managed to clamp everything in place and I'll have to leave that to dry for a good moment. The glue has dried and I removed all the tape and I'm very satisfied with the result. Next we will be closing um, some parts here. I just checked the instructions for the next step and turns out we need to install two very thin strips um, on that part here, on that uh, edge. And now if we take a look at these two pieces, they're extremely thin. So I think I need to put some tape to to get them together so I have at least a bit more uh, strength and then I will probably use steam again to pre-bend it. As you can see I was able to bend the two parts uh, over the bottle so uh, this is a nice trick. update from the steering house as I peeled off the tape that was on this upper part everything shattered into thousands of pieces so I had to reconstruct it once more uh, as you can see I've glued in a strip of styrene to help me do that so I got a bit of support from the back and I've also uh, glued in the first parts of the window trimming to help me uh, get the shape I needed it's far from perfect, but I hope that um, as soon as we glue in the roof, this whole area won't be that visible. And uh, yeah, it is now time to glue in the window frames. This went surprisingly well and with not much drama, so I'm quite pleased. I don't know about you guys, but I think it starts to look like something. Anyway, this is it for today's episode. I hope you had fun watching it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss the next episode. See you then. Goodbye.